<laughs> so, Nigel, are you flattered by, by these attempts uh, of Fishy Rishi to imitate you? Well, first they told me leaving the European Union was completely insane, would never happen, could never happen, and now they've become the Brexit party. So that was the first uh, little bit of success. But this is a farce. I mean, yes, they do say imitation is the highest form of flattery. But, I mean, did you see the barber jacket he was wearing? Did you see it? <laughs> yes. It had never been worn before. It was clearly... <laughs> fresh out of the shop, probably on sale or return, <laughs> you know. I mean, and the idea that he pours a pint and talks to the lads in the pub, all right, boys, how are we doing? I mean, honestly, what it shows you is one very simple thing. The man is a complete and utter fraud. He is acting and saying what he needs to say to get elected rather than actually tell us who you really are. Tell us what you're really about. But he won't do that. And they know, of course, they know that amongst Conservative Party members, that if this was an open primary and my name was in the hat, as it would be in America, they, both of these candidates would probably lose to me. <laughs> yes, or if we had proportional representation uh, as well, Nigel, it would be a very uh, different thing. Do you think there's any way that Sunak can turn it around now with the Tory party membership? I mean, the ballots go out very, very soon. No, I don't. I mean, even though Truss uh, and tonight's debate, of course, and that is obviously very sad that Kate McCann fell ill and collapsed, but it's good that she's, you know, OK. Yeah, it was um, horrible. Amazing. Even, even Liz Truss who at least does say one or two interesting things. I mean, not many, obviously, but one or two interesting things. But, I mean, Liz Truss is asked, speak for 60 seconds, tell us why you should be the next Prime Minister. Did you watch it, Dan? I mean, I know you're a, a, a mega No, I Trussian. did. Um, yeah, she couldn't speak for 60 seconds without looking down and referring to her notes four or five times. And that tells you... She doesn't really believe in much of what she's saying either. Uh, the one area where she was impressive, I thought, was on corporation tax. There, she looked at the camera and she knew what she was saying. But we've got, I mean, let's face it, let's be honest. Against the two of these, in personality terms, Boris is a giant. And it's just, frankly, a tragedy for him and the Conservative Party that he couldn't tell the truth. Uh, I think we've got two pretty low grade candidates, and I think the I think the party is in more trouble than it even begins to understand.